Danny Hodge, Cowboy Bill Watts, uh, two legends of Oklahoma and professional wrestling. Great to see you guys here backstage at Monday Night Raw. Uh, just wanted to get uh, some of your thoughts on, uh, on what you've seen so far. Well, first of all, we love being here because JR is being honored tonight, and, and he certainly is one of the top talents in the business in every phase. I was fortunate enough to hire him out of college. He started out putting up the ring and refereeing, and he's learned every phase of the business, and he's been a valuable, valuable asset for the WWE. For, so for Danny and I, we're privileged to come here and, and uh, spend some time with him. Yeah, yeah, I come from a little town of Perry, Oklahoma, five or 6,000 people, and but what a lot of people don't understand is Perry is a wrestling capital of the United States. The little town produces more state and national and, and uh, collegiate wrestlers than, than any, any city. So, like I said, I'm very fortunate to come there and work hard. And I got to, I got to travel. I have got to go around the world 44 times. And I never thought I'd ever get to see it once. And you're standing next to the cowboy Bill Watts, and uh, uh, Bill, what is your relationship and uh, well, your experience with... Uh, Danny was my hero. Every guy my age that was an amateur wrestler, I, was, I played football at, at Oklahoma and wrestled at Oklahoma. But Danny was a two-time Olympian. He was a three-time NCAA wrestling champion back when you could only wrestle three of your four years. He was outstanding wrestler of the NCAA tournament twice and pinned everybody in the tournament his senior year. He was also the Golden Globe boxing champion. So this guy is, is, if there was Superman, Superman wouldn't really want to mess with him because he has kryptonite. Maybe give some of our uh, WWE superstars a run for their money still. The ones that know him <laughs> certainly understand, and they don't want to shake hands with him if he's excited. He can, he, he can take oil field pliers and bend the handles together or break them, and still he can take an apple, and you can buy it and pick it and explode it. That's the grippiest guy.